Hey y'all, Pops Cooper, livingcooper.com. Look what Pops did. Check it out y'all, today I got a Coop Simple How To for you. And I'm gonna show you how I refinished my grill table. I built this grill table several years ago. If you hadn't seen that video, check it out. Check that link up in the corner and check that video out. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I updated, rejuvenated, and refinished this table using mineral spirits, the spar urethane, and the boiled linseed oil and different combinations in order to make this durable finish that soaks in, but it also, depending on the combination, makes a nice hard surface on top. So y'all keep watching and let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is cut off the feet, the bottoms of the legs for the new wheels. But I'm not gonna put the wheels on until after I put the finish on. Y'all keep watching, let's turn this thing up and get it done. I'm going to use my little sawzall with the wood blade instead of the multi-tool to go ahead and see about cutting these off. I know some of you are saying, oh, this looks terrible. It looks horrendous. What's wrong with this guy? Well, it's supposed to be kind of rustic worn out look. It's not supposed to be all pristine, brand new look. Keep that in mind. All right, now I got the legs cut off, the bottom of the legs cut off the table. We're going to mix up some finish, some finish that's good for outdoor use. And this finish is made up of mineral spirits, wool linseed oil, and spar urethane for good outdoor finish. And this mix will be at a one-to-one -one ratio at this point, but I'll back off of the wool linseed oil as we add uh, successive coats. The boiled linseed oil slows down the curing process, the drying time, and it helps the, the whole mixture to soak into the wood better. That way you get a deeper, more durable finish. So we're going to go one to one mixture right now. Not sure how many coats I'm going to do. We're going to flood this thing and then when it stops soaking in, then we'll know that we've reached a point where now it's kind of sitting on the surface and we want it to dry a little bit harder. So we'll pull out the, the boiled linseed oil and go from there. All right, let me mix this up. I'll keep watching. All right, I'm gonna add eight ounces of the spar urethane. The good thing is, you don't have to be super exact with this stuff. Next, I'll add eight ounces of boiled linseed oil. Finally, to thin it out, we'll use eight ounces of mineral spirits. Oh, that stuff pours terrible. It's a terrible can to pour with. I don't want everything. Mix this up pretty good. Now you can apply this with a t-shirt. I'm going to use a chip brush and probably the t-shirt both. I don't know how well you can see, but it thinned down pretty good. Now we're just mixing it up real good. And this will take about 10 hours to dry. So it's going to take a while to put several coats on this thing, a couple of days. But the whole point is we want to be able to make sure that this thing is, I guess, as weatherproof as we can make it. All right, I think we're mixed up good. I'm going to reset, and then we will put some finish on this stuff. I'll keep watching. Okay, I'll notice I did not sand this. I'm not going to sand it. It's supposed to be a rough finish. I just knocked all the debris off, all the little cobwebs, stuff like that. Cleaned it up a little bit, and now I'm ready to start applying my finish. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's get started putting this finish on. Let me give it a little quick stir here. All right, that'll wear a little bit. All right, I'm going to start with a chip brush, and I'm going to work on these, flooding these, uh, the underside first. It's, that way we can flip it up so it'll be right, right side up once we get all this secure. All right, so we're going to flood this, and we'll see how well it soaks in. All this end grain is probably going to soak it up. And let it soak and soak and soak. I ain't worried about it really running over the edges. Okay, y'all. Well, 24 ounces was not quite enough to get me all the way done with this first undercoat. But that's okay. We got time. So now I'm just wiping off the excess. All this up here at the top is it time to soak in. Pretty good. So I'm just kind of cleaning up all the excess before we let it all dry out. That way it'll kind of dry kind of evenly. Very pretty. Yeah, it's pretty wood. Okay, y'all. Well, that's kind of one coat down. It'll take a day or so. 
cure to dry, I guess, not really cure, but to dry. I didn't quite get everything in here done on the bottom side, but that's okay. I'll mix up some more in a little while and, and kind of finish up what I missed. We'll make you guys suffer through that. Okay, so I got two coats of the, what I'm calling the one to one to one, which is one to one to one mixture on the underside and the top side of my grill table. Now I'm gonna move on to what I'm calling the three to one, three to two to one mixture, which is three, two, and one. So basically I'm gonna do 12 ounces of the spar urethane, eight ounces of the mineral spirits, four ounces of the boiled in seal. And that, that way it'll kind of sit more on top of the, the surface than soaking in as much. And it will give me a little bit harder finish on top. So I'm going to mix this up, I'm going to flip it over and do probably two coats just like I did on the one to one to one and then I will drill the holes and put the wheels in and then we'll flip it back over and we'll do two coats of the three to two to one mixture on the top side. I hope that made sense. All right, let's do it. Got two coats of the 321 on the other side, the 321 mixture. Now we're going to put our casters on. So, to put these casters on, I'm going to put them basically here and here, those spots there. And I'm just really going to kind of eyeball it. Not going to be too exact because, as you can tell, this thing isn't exactly exact. It's made out of old pallets. What do you want? The cuts aren't exactly straight or anything else. It's just Thrown together, but I needed to update it, you know, make it a little more weatherproof so it'll last a little longer, anyways. So, y'all come on in here and let's put these casters on. So, put these casters on. I'm using a T nut. This is a 3 8 with 16 threads per inch. So, that's what this is. This uh, inside is 3 8 with 16 threads per inch. So, what we're gonna do is kind of mark this. We'll put it where we want it, kind of mark it, and then we will come back and drill it up. So I have my drill bit and I taped it. I measured how deep I want to drill this in here, basically. And then I gave it just a, just a smidge more. So now we're going to drill it out. Uh-oh. Remember I said this is pallet wood? Yeah, I'm hitting a nail in there. Oh, well, here we go. Let's destroy a drill bit. Now we'll take our T-nut and we will hammer it in here. Screw our caster in. And I want this type of caster because then we can kind of level it up depending on our surface. So if our surface is not too level, then we will be able to level this thing up. At the beginning, you saw I had some different casters. They were much taller and they didn't have the ability like these to level up. All right, one down. Let's do the other three. on this side and on this back side this is the back side of the table I'm not putting it in this board because it is split down this side and if I try to drill this and hammer this to that it's gonna break that off so I'm going ahead and I'm putting it in this cross member right here all right y'all there you go four casters on now let's flip this thing over and put our two finishing coats of the 3-2-1 mixture on the top. Okay y'all, so these T-nuts just didn't work the way I wanted them to. And I know a lot of you say, well you're supposed to put the T-nut on the back side. That's why it didn't work. I understand that. My thought process was that because it's a table, it's going to be sitting up this way, it's not going to be pulling on those T-nuts to pull them out. Well, the problem is, I guess, that I didn't think about when I flipped these over, is it pulled on them. So, I'm going to go back with these inserts. These inserts came with the casters, but I didn't want to take a chance on splitting out the hardwood pallet pieces. That's why I didn't want to use them and I wanted to try these T-nuts. But I'm going to go back with them. In fact, I already put one in on this side over here. Already done it. So I'm going to put in the other three. Okay, I got a little frustrated putting those wheels on. I forgot. 
forgot to turn the camera back on. Anyways, here it is. Casters are installed. Then all I gotta do is put my two coats. I'll finish on the top. So keep watching. Let's do it. There's one coat. We'll let this dry out, then we'll do the second coat, and we'll be done. Okay, y'all. There you have it. That's how to make a nice, durable outdoor finish for your outdoor wooden furniture using the mineral spirits, bold linseed oil, spark urethane, and different combinations to get this beautiful finish and to rejuvenate this table. This is my grill table that I built a couple of years ago. Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you can give me a thumbs down too. Either way, I understand not every video is for every viewer. By the way, leave us some comments. Good comments, bad comments, and different comments, constructive criticisms, not foul comments. We're trying to keep this family friendly over here. Maybe you have experience using these materials or other materials to make a good durable outdoor finish for wooden furniture. Share it in the comments for other people that might be looking for information and instruction on how to do this kind of stuff. I'm by no means an expert. I just do what I think works. Check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper, on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and now Parlor. Also, check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, probably most importantly, please subscribe. We appreciate the subscriptions. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload videos. Check out our other videos. We've got all kinds of videos from how-tos, reviews, travel. Check those out. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.